Hey guys, Lucas here from Victor Surplus, and today we're going to go over the new-ish U.S. Army Improved Hot Weather Combat Uniform, specifically this one from Proper. So what we got here is the IHCWU um, uniform. It's the new Hot Weather Combat Uniform, so it's taken from a lot of feedback from soldiers in the U.S. Army, and they just kind of revamped the ACU cut of the uniform to be better for um, hot weather and wet weather operations. So kind of like when you see the Type 1 BDUs go to the Type, what is it, 3 or 4? Um, where they were like, oh yeah, this, this material doesn't really lend itself well to hot weather environments. They did the same thing with the ACU cut, and now they have this uniform. Um, so, you know, take that history, kind of repeats itself at the end of the day. It did here as well, even in the modern day with modern materials and all that. So, start off, what is it made out of? It's made out of a Nyko ripstop. It's 57% nylon, 43% cotton mixed. So it's a little different mix than your standard 50-50 Nyko, which is fine. At the feel of it, it feels really lightweight. It feels great in the hand. Honestly, I wish these had been out when I was in the Army because I would have bought the crap out of them. Um, still got a friend that's active duty, does a lot with it. He wears this all the time. He says he loves it a lot better than the standard ACU cut or even the new OCP cut. So yeah, going into it, um, same collar as your regular OCPs. It is button up, which is fine. Got your field for your uh, rank and name patches. Uh, your pockets, it went back to the uh, kind of old style shoulder pocket, and but instead of hook and loop, it is buttons. So you got your buttons here, and that's nice. Easy to repair in the field. Um, that's one big thing about buttons is you can repair a button in the field, even if you don't really know how to sew, but you can't fix the zipper. So that's a really nice thing they did that did there. Still got your pin pockets, button cuff to adjust, and um, as I'm going through this, I'm just noticing again like this does feel a much lighter weight. Um, but everything I've read about it, everything I've heard about it so far, that's not going to lend itself to being easier to destroy by any means. Uh, one thing when I was reading about it, I did notice I had to look into a little more is they have raglan sleeves and I had to kind of look at what that is. But if you look at like baseball tees where it's that one piece sleeve, um, usually a separate color, that's what it means. It means there's, it just from the straight from the shoulder up here and the pit, that's a one piece sleeve. So not sure what kind of durability that lends to it. But this is something interesting I saw about it is that raglan sleeve. Other than that, the pants, pretty similar to your standard ACU cut, but in that 57 nylon, 43 cotton blend ripstop. But the top is the biggest change. Oh, before I forget, biggest notable change, no chest pockets. Um, the chest pockets are a heat sink at the end of the day. So if you're wearing this and got body armor on top, you're going to just pack in heat in those pockets. So they got rid of them, which is awesome. Um, and anyways, you didn't really have a lot of good use for it anyways because it was a flat really non-bellowed pocket so you can only put flat things in there um, like your phone at most so getting rid of them hey guys thanks for watching make sure you leave us a comment below uh what you thought of this video what it, what you'd like to see next and uh everything like that make sure you head on adventuresurplus.com check out everything we've got available and scroll down to the bottom sign up for our email list and see our newest items newest restock and let us know what you think not a huge big deal and it helps keep you cooler if you're wearing this over kit.